Welcome to Tech New Tips, your go-to channel for the latest in cutting-edge technology and engineering marvels from around the world. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating engineering feats in Switzerland, a modular bridge that can be moved with wheels. Imagine a bridge that you can literally roll into place overnight. Let's break down how this works. So, what makes this bridge so incredible? In Switzerland, a 240-meter-long, 1,250-ton modular bridge is transforming how we think about infrastructure. This engineering marvel is made up of 22 separate modules, each equipped with eight omnidirectional wheels. These wheels allow the entire bridge to be moved into place after assembly, overnight. Once transported by trucks, the real magic begins. A team of over 300 people works tirelessly to piece together the modules, ensuring the joints are secure and the locks are perfectly in place. The bridge is supported by hydraulic jacks and the entire structure is held together by fasteners. This entire assembly process only takes about 10 hours. Now you might be wondering, why go through all this trouble? Well, before this bridge, the road it's now on saw over 70,000 vehicles every single day. If road repairs had been done traditionally, traffic would have been gridlocked for months. By using a modular moving bridge, traffic could continue on the new structure while the road underneath was repaired. Interestingly, while the bridge was assembled in a single night, the design and planning took a whopping seven years. Engineers went through countless iterations, weighing different strategies for how to repair the road while maintaining traffic flow. Finally, the modular bridge concept was chosen for its flexibility and efficiency. The brilliance of this modular bridge doesn't stop here. It can be disassembled, moved, and reassembled wherever it's needed next. Imagine a future where bridges can be deployed to any site overnight, allowing roads to be repaired with minimal disruption. This revolutionary approach to infrastructure could change the way we handle road repairs and construction in the future. What do you think? Could this modular bridge technology have any downsides, or is it the perfect solution to traffic disruptions? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in more innovative tech solutions like this, make sure to like and subscribe to Tech New Tips. Have you ever wondered how early trains, with just one engine at the front, managed to turn around? Well, before dual-direction trains became common, engineers used something called a train turntable. Picture a massive circular platform with train tracks running across it, specifically designed to help trains turn 180 degrees. Here's how it worked. The train's engine would disconnect from the rest of the cars and move forward onto the turntable. Beneath the center of the turntable was a giant bearing, which allowed the entire platform to rotate. As the engine rolled onto the turntable's rails, two large wheels fitted on both sides of the platform would slot into a circular track. To rotate the platform, workers would grab large handles attached to either side of the turntable, like turning the hands of a giant clock. Using sheer muscle power, they'd push the handles slowly rotating the train engine until it faced the opposite direction. Once the engine was facing the desired direction, it would roll off the turntable and reconnect to the last car of the train. Now, instead of traveling forward, the engine could pull the train in the opposite direction. The entire process was simple yet effective for the time. Initially, people tried turning trains the way we turn cars, by steering them around curves. But this proved problematic. Not only did it require a lot of space, but trains could derail if the curve was too sharp. So, the train turntable became the go-to solution. With the invention of dual-direction trains, where the engine is capable of pulling the train from either end, train turntables became obsolete. Modern locomotives no longer need to turn around. However, the train turntable remains an incredible part of railway history showcasing human ingenuity in solving complex problems. So, what do you think of this early solution for turning trains around? Although train turntables are no longer in use, they represent a fascinating chapter in the development of railway technology. 
Let us know in the comments if you think this old school method could be useful in other ways today. Thanks for watching Tech New Tips. If you enjoyed this look into railway history, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing tech insights. See you next time.